Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. As you can see my um, difficulty has gone up a bit and so has my um, health bar or lives has gone up a bit. I came across a few blight mobs in the process of getting here today. So today what we'd like to do is to make an OP mod farm and yes we'll start with that one I think. I don't really like this mask I've got on let's just change this mask. Let's put my helmet on. <laughs> That's probably better isn't it? Right, let's start with this. So what I've got in my inventory here is I've got a few vector plates and the recipe for vector plates is fairly straightforward. It's basically one slime, two iron ingots, two stone and a sugar. Sugar you get from milling some um, sugar cane. So it's fairly straightforward, nothing special. Slime balls actually aren't too difficult either. Because I went on an excursion and I went a bit further than I was before and found a slime island uh, Magna slime ammo and then I basically just harvest some leaves and got some saplings and I'll show you what I did with the saplings actually I'll do that first I think let's have a look at this in fact what I've been doing is every once in a while you get um, a block that you can't place down so and you can see I've got a a Magna slime sapling in a bonsai hopping pot hopping bonsai pot and you get a lot of everything really <laughs> plenty of slime balls come in and there plenty of blocks of slime blocks and leaves and some quite a few saplings for that matter so let's go and start with this mob farm I've also got a load of tips as well and tricks and things like that which we'll should cover in a minute so the mob farm design I've done is basically the same as it was done before let's go over to the top I think and start from the top and work our way down Oh, I haven't got the right way. I need to find the way to the top. <laughs> Strangely enough, I th think it was here. No, it's not here. I've got to go back one layer. Level, I think it's... <laughs> here we are. So what I did is I've basically put down a lot more torches down here. And at the moment, so nothing's really spawning below that. But we can have a quick look inside this so i can turn all of these off with a switch here like that and it turns them all off in fact it's strange they all reach enough there's enough space to reach even reach to the end here we've still got one power there she's enough to light the light so that's fine so the next thing we'll do is the next level down is the doorway so let's have a look at this doorway i've got it open here so basically what i've done is i've just set up a at the very bottom here we've got a mob masher and i've got some vector plates pointing to that mob masher they're only standard vector plates, not, not, nothing special. I just put these down like, you see it pushes you along. So the way to put these down is you hold shift, if you didn't know that already. And I needed exactly 80, because this block, this, this space here is 9 by 9. So what I do here is I stand on the corner and it pushes me to here. So then I want to go this way. So I shift click it and I come here and I want to go this way. And then it'll push me into that. So that's how I was doing those. So the rest of the, so the, rest of the blocks just go like this. And I can go and press A and just go like that. And you notice that's dirt underneath that, so that's fine. I've got to press shift to get out of here, haven't I? Come to you. Like that. So we then close the door, as you can see. So the bottom bit was a mob masher. I'll have a quickly, quickly go and have a look at that. And here, just right around here, I just made a sort of space so I could walk around. Actually, so I can actually access the dirt. And you'll see why in a minute. So I can open up the door here. I'm not going to go in, because I'll probably get ground. But on this mob masher here, you can see what I've got in. So I've got 10 upgrades for sharpness, 10 looting, and 6 beheading. This one is for um, spiders, which we're not going to get. This one's fire aspect, there's no use in the, in the nether. And this one was um, smite, which was for undead mobs, which we don't tend to get in here, actually. We tend to get other mobs. We got, well, we do actually, we get, we get zombie pigmen. And I presume, yeah, like that. And then underneath here, I just got the standard setup. I've changed this a bit, so I put the XP collection underneath the um, absorption hopper and the chest of the rock just to the right of it that turns the mob masher on and off so you can see in here I've already got some um, 
diamond helmets and iron helmet and a an iron sword. The iron swords are used for the well. Basically, I'm reusing all of this stuff. I see this is all the weather. This is all the weather skeleton stuff that's coming in here. Oh, yes, I've got my one piece I need in here like this. So let's go and finish this off. Did I turn those lights on or off? I think I left them on, didn't I? I need to turn them off. And you'll see why. Because if I turn them on, uh, Endermen don't spawn. So if I turn them off, I'll just use this an empty hand between this. Endermen will spawn. Zombie pigmen spawn anyway, so you're basically going to get zombie pigmen. Whatever you do. Just check that everything's working. Oh, and I've got lapis glass down here. So I've got lapis glass here, which basically means I don't fall through it, but mobs do. So I press shift and W and you can walk over the, the vector plates. Mobs can't do that. So all I need to do now is to come one, one layer below, like this. No, wrong way. I have to go down here. Go up to the dirt, like this, and right click it with um, a drop of evil. Now, if you look at the minimap, very, very, very soon we're going to go. Oh, there is one thing I didn't say. On the mom mission, I put an ender tether. And you can see the enderman on the minimap going crazy. <laughs> and I don't really need this mega, mega torch here. That was just so I could actually work. And it's very noisy there, as you can hear. So that is how I've set up my. Um, mob farm and you'll see it's OP and the reason it's OP is I shall show you in this chest here like that it'll fill up and I won't be able to actually put the stuff away as quickly as it's coming in and it doesn't take very long before it fills up let's take those out of there the diamond stuff I've been keeping in this chest here so we'll put those two diamond helmets in there Respiration 2, Aqua Infinity, Fire Protection and Breaking. Uh, pretty good helmets actually. Both those are the two. This, they're identical. One of them is uncommon and the other one's ultra rare. I don't know what that means. But I guess this is a really good helmet. So I probably should put that with the one I've got on at the moment and match the two up together. So we end up with an ultra rare helmet. Which is pretty good. So anyway... As you can see here, I've got lots of Enderman heads from, well, it wasn't very long, about a couple of hours, 201 Enderman heads, 467 of these, um, whatever they're called, I can't remember, friendly, friendly things. Ender pearls, thousands, well, 1700, it's more than enough, I don't need any more than that. Uh, and these, these nebulous hearts, 154, they're coming in pretty fast, actually. As you can see, I've already got some more of these friendly yeah, Frenda Pearls, I think that's pronounced, and that Infinity Booster card's got two of. Just ridiculous. And uh, oh, just see how much I'm getting. Just oh, 12. In fact, they're not going out as fast as they're coming in. So I have to turn it off after a while. XP will be coming in like crazy too. Let's have a look at this. 15. Yeah, that's going up quite fast. I've got plenty of XP. Wow. So anyway, next thing. Oh, I didn't put this down. Metal helmet or iron helmet and sword away, did I? The iron helmets are useful for... I just repair these to make beheading upgrades. And the iron swords are used for sharpness. And the gold armour I don't really need. I can actually reuse it. You can actually reuse it and make gold out of it. So you can then put that through the machine. So let me just have a quick look. Next one, E. Burnerium ore, it says, cannot be placed. So I take this in my hand here and right click it on the ground. Can't place it, yeah? That basically means I can't do much with it, except, let's have a look at the, use, let's have a look at the uses of this. I think we have to basically pulverize it. So we can stick it to the pulverizer or the crusher. At best it looks like the pulverizer gives you a double. So that's a better one. And I suspect that a tectonic initiator gives you even more, it does, yeah. But that's a lot more complicated to set up because we need tectonic perothium. Petrothium, how it's pronounced, don't know. 
and that's it and that's a sort of an extra process but there is another way to put stuff down and where have I got it hmm I was trying here something with doing some block placing on this one I'll use this one The idea here was to be able to just have a block, I'll come to that later on, was a block detector for better with mods. So when you put a block down here, so for example, take some wood, put a block down there, get it in my hand, put a block down there, that will actually send the redstone signal out. But it's not right, I need to do a monostable latch on it or something like that. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. Let's put this down here like this. Okay, let's put into it some bernerium or let's take a lever because levers are good just put it on the top or the side or wherever I don't care and then turn it on and it places the block so then you can hit the block with your pickaxe just like normal like that and get your bernerium I actually got three in that case which wasn't as good but uh, and four little bits which of course you then I think the only uses for that is this one so the I think that's the case let's have a look uses it's a use of a fuel or you basically turn it into bernerium or like that one and the uses for this one there aren't that many actually again you can smell it with it you can use it as a, a, a potion and you can turn it into this bernerium which you can turn into bernerium blocks and I think again that's again something you can use for fuel you got 30,000 RF in it Crush it back to dust. Oh, where's that block gone to? And the uses for this, basically, it's a tool. There isn't that much in the way of uses for it. I've got some more cover crafting, that's not much use. And you can use it in the overclock generator, give you 30,000, 4,000 RF per tip. Right, oops. In fact, I might as well turn that into that. Then it saves some space in my inventory, doesn't it? So that's that, and you can do the same with um, other ores that you get. And one of the ones which I was getting a lot of was, um, what was it now? Prosperity shards. I did actually manage to find them. Oh, you know, look at this here. This I set up this a bit more generation here as well. Um, so these are the thermoelectric gener generators. And if you hit, <laughs> in this version of uh, immersive engineering, if you hit the wires, it gives you a shock. So I've got ice and I've got yellow orion blocks and that's producing around about 20 RF per tick or something like that. Gah. <laughs> I think I need to wear something. So this is now full of power and this is then feeding these two here. And what I've got here is I've got, I'm creating some dust. And the dust is getting processed in here. And the idea of the dust is I needed to make some more glowstone. The redstone's going in there, fair enough. Like that, and so I'm getting a little bit of redstone at the same time. Because at the moment the ores are fairly high, I don't need too much in the way of ores. <sighs> Honestly, must be this. <laughs> I have to move the cables around a bit. <laughs> so that's another thing I've done. Now today's episode, small preparation for our trail. Let's have a look what I've got in here. Basically, I wanted to make some more uh, charms and put this into my charm belt. with some obsidian so here I've got some wither skeleton charms and the recipe for that oh, that was the uses of it let me try that again there's wither ribs bones and a wither skeleton gold gives you one of those you need six so it's not too much the wither ribs and the bones are coming from the mob farm as you can see I've got like, literally stacks yeah it's nearly seven, seven, 759 759 of those Plenty of bones, plenty of skeleton ribs, plenty of wither skeleton ribs. Like, ridiculous amounts, really. So let's have a look at that again. So that was that one. This was the skeleton charm, and the recipe for that is this. So plenty. We also need six of those. Flints, no problem. Bones, no problem. And the recipe for the next one was a zombie charm fragment, which we, of course, we're not going to get in the nether. But let's have a look at the recipe for that. Zombie hearts rotting flesh and a bone so we'll actually make up those charms for those three four because i've got the other one to do with the enderman one let's have a double check that because i haven't used the really good uses of that one i need 
this one. So I need some ender pearls. So I'm going to need 12 ender pearls. I don't know whether this is something new in this version of the of Minecraft or what, but these now stack into stacks of 30. Look at the number of those going up. These now stack in 64s. So I want basically only take 16 with me, I think. Just put those back. And then we'll have enough. So let's make up that first of all. Let's have a look again for the uses of this one. Nebulous hearts. We can make up these. We should get six. Fantastic. Now we can make up the, the, the charms for that one. Let's just have a look at the uses for that. We'll do the charm. We don't need charm belt. So we now have an Enderman charm. So Enderman can't see us. So we'll do this one. We now have a zombie charm. So zombie, zombies can't see us. And that's what one uses of this one. We're going to get skeleton scar. We do get skeletons in there, of course. They come in the, um, in the in the fortresses. And the uses of this one to make a wither skeleton uh, charm. Let's go to my bauble belt again and take my charm belt off. Ha! Huh, I have to throw that. No, but we better not throw those down. Let's just throw that one down and open up the charm belt. A trash can, I don't want a trash can, I want the charm belt. So I can simply shift click these into here like that. Then I can pick up my string again, of course. And then I can put the string away. I think I might have some space in here. I do, yes, good. I've got space for everything. Is there anything in there I can get rid of? Probably the toasted bread. Let's do that quick sort. Um, Bernerium dust, I've got some of that somewhere about, so I think in, nope, not in there, probably somewhere else, let's get rid of that. And, oh, put the enderpulls in here too, as well. So let's put the belt back on again. This is actually one of the, oops, yeah, thanks. <laughs> right again. If you shift click that into place, and it goes into the right slot. So that's that bit done. So the next just dealt with that one. Here, waystones. These are awesome. If you've never seen these, I was using these in Galactic Science too. They are great interdimensional travel. And they have, they've got a cooldown period of about 10 minutes. So we can put one, let's put one down, say here. Out of the way a bit, not too far out of the way, like that. So we'll say this is base. Click done. You ask for a name. And you right click this and it activates it. So you right click the bottom of it and it activates the waystone. So with this waystone, a warp stone I've got here, you can teleport yourself to that. So for example, let's go away a little bit. Oh, we might as well test out our charm belt as well at the same time. I think it's here, isn't it? Yeah. Now, of course, none of these things can actually see us except for blazing juggernauts. So they can't see us, zombies can't see us, so we can actually attack them like that. Oops, embers can still see us. Which is great. Woo! That magical one threw me in the air. <laughs> Might not be ideal to attack these magical ones, but you know, there is some fun to the game as well. So no Enderman around to look at. I was kind of hoping to see an Enderman to look at, but I don't see any around here at the moment. So the only thing you've really got to worry about is Blazing juggernauts and embers. And embers aren't too difficult. What's happened there? Well, some of my base has disappeared by lots of it. So let's put some of this back. Oh, that's what's happened. I've probably blocked it in a bit. 
Oh. It's so noisy. Let's go. Oh, okay. I went a different way. So the next chest. Oh yes, I didn't demonstrate that, did I? Yeah. Doesn't matter. I'll just demonstrate it from here. You can see what happens. So it doesn't matter where you are. It's interdimensional. You just right, hold down the right house mouse button and it then gives you a destination. Click base and you're teleported to here. So we might as well craft a few more of those actually while we're here because it's they're pretty useful. Um, so let's have a look at waystones. It's actually a mod called waystones as well. Waystones. And it's given you fair four different items in this no, that's not more grinding utilities. You got a warp stone, a warp scroll, a, re a return scroll. I haven't made one of those yet. And a, a waystone. So the waystone is basically a warp stone with some Nori crystals and some stone. Not too bad. Nori crystals are basically made from iron blocks, so we can actually go. Yeah, I need to shift click something. So I basically, need 27 iron, don't I? We've got 27 iron here, yep. Yeah. There's two more. Don't worry, I've got plenty of iron. It's just not there. Let's take those three. Let's make some Inori. Crystals. I think I can just throw them like that, can't I? Yeah, done. So they're now in Nori crystal blocks. So all we need to do now is to actually put everything together. I'm gonna find my way around here, haven't I? I harvested the mushrooms, they haven't done any more growing so far, but they will do. So we need the warp stone, look. Oh yes, we need the warp stone, of course. So that's just basically four ender pearls, purple, dye, sinuous resin, Colour drops, a fairly straightforward recipe. It's probably a good idea to actually make two of these if I can. Yeah, we can. So now we can make the this one. Oh, it's probably some stone. I don't suppose I've got any stone in there. But I have stone in here. Mel Melakwa actually said to me I should put the another chest on the other side of these um, crafting tables, but that didn't work. It doesn't work. It never has actually done so. What is it? Stone chisel block. Oh, I need. Okay. Even easier. Let's put those back again. I'll take three of these. So the cost of those is just exactly the same as a piece of stone. No big deal. So we now have a second waystone. And we have a second warp stone as well. What about the return scrolls? What are they made out of? Paper and. And my arts. No big. Uh, Got three pieces of paper in there, that's not a big deal. Let's make one of these. Now these generally get consumed when you actually use them. So it's, it says it here it's bound to base. And this one you, you you can use. So actually the cooldown is the same on both. So it's no good having two. <laughs> but this one doesn't have a, a cooldown period. This gets used up when you use it. So that's that. That's waste turns. Well worth it. And definitely a must. There's a compressed enderman over there, I bet you anything. Let's have a look. And that'll be towards the mod farm. It's probably got ground already. Yep. Hmm. We're getting compressed enderman now. So if you don't know what a compressed enderman is, it's nine endermen in one enderman. So if you, when you kill the first enderman, you get another nine. So you have to be, uh, sort of avoid those things quite nicely. Right, I'm just doing a backup. So next chest. So look at this next chest. That one's done now. Done with done with warp stones. So look at this one. Backpacks and backpacks. This was a suggestion um, from Psycho Nightmare Mangle. She'll make a a diamond backpack. Unfortunately, they've been nerfed in this particular version. Neither is the the 12.2 version doesn't work properly. 
or they've just simply been uh, nerfed. And the reason for it is you've got no more upgrades. So you've got to get a damage bar upgrade, a personal upgrade, so it actually can only be used by that player, the owner of the pack, an extra point upgrade, which obviously you don't need, and this one's a creative one, an everlasting upgrade. Maybe I, or maybe I can, no, you can't make it. You click on it, all you get is the crafting recipe for the, the blank upgrades. And this one does actually work, but what's the point? You've got so many points. Normally, you'd have a whole load of these uh, upgrades that you can do, like compression upgrades and all the rest of it. So all it is in ending up to be is being a sort of a, an equivalent to a golden bag of holding. Let's have a look how big is it. So we basically got it's like a diamond back, but it's like a diamond chest, isn't it? And the golden bag of holding, it's a little bit smaller. In fact, I might as well throw away the golden bag of holding and put it into one, am I? I'm not going to use this item very much. Chests like this one here. Yeah. It's not quite true because there's some items in there that look actually useful. <laughs> but I need GP for that. Right. So that's that covered. I'm covering quite a lot in this episode today. So the backpack, of course, I can put into here like that, and it's then nests itself quite nicely. The handy backpack's got another use, which is really quite neat, and that's basically you can have different memory cards. So you click the button here, you get the different memory card. So, for example, let's put one of these waste turns, one of those into that like that. Let's go and get a drop of evil. Take a drop of evil with me. Let's put this into this chest over here, like, into this side pocket over here on this card. And these are items I'm going to use when I go on the excursion. I think that's what it is going to be. I've got all that. Uh, I've got all that soil. I did do some. I did find some prosperity. Uh, or I told you that, didn't I? Because I've been going around there like that. And um, where is it now? I guess it's not over here. I need to do it whether I put the. I think I moved things around a bit. Oh, here we are, I guess. I knew it was here. So I'll just shift click these into the like that. And I can fill in. And that's going to make some more water to make some more rubber. Should have water. Got plenty of latex in there. And the water's going up. So when that gets to a bucket, it makes another piece of like, rubber. Now there is another way of doing rubber, which is the way I'm going to be doing it, I reckon. And we'll have a look at that. And that is, I have got my, oh, look who's been in here. I've got, I found some <laughs> ender daisies. And you can right click that and you can take another ender daisy out of it. Oh, that's interesting. Really? I thought you bashed that and you got an ender pearl. You sometimes get ender pearls. But here I got some rubber seeds. So I bashed that one, pick up the seed and dumped it again. Oh, gosh, I can hear them all from, from here, can't I? Some dried mud. Oh yes, I got some dried mud. That's what I did. It wasn't an element. That was uh, Duncan man. I did that. <laughs> I remember I broke something. I got that back of a some wet mud, and I just dried it. I'm not sure what its uses are yet, but we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> so that's that chest done. And the last chest here. So the backpack itself wasn't particularly useful. We can craft that together, but with the backpack, let's do that. Let's go back to this one here. Let's take this and here like that. Oh, it doesn't work. Do I have to shift right click this thing or something? I can't remember how to use this, to be honest with you. No, it doesn't work that way. I'm sure there's a way to open that and put that upgrade on. I thought it was just to craft it on yourself. And here I've got some stuff about magical crops. So. The rubber essence, three of those. We'll come to that as an, I think I'll do that as a separate episode. It's going to take a long time to go through the magical crops. But basically I can craft those three together and I'll get should get some rubber. Let's have a look. Usage. Okay, it's positional dependent, is it? So I get eight rubber balls. So that's uh, pretty good. It's a hell of a lot easier than doing um it through the water method, because that takes it's slow and it takes forever. These are slow too, but we should make a harvester, I reckon, for doing that. So let's have a quick 
look at something else. Right, comments. Bob the Big Bat has told me I should make some climbing gloves. Let's do that, because he says they're awesome. So let's have a look at doing some climbing gloves. There we go, this one. So we need some slime balls, some dark dye, which can also be withered us. Some strips of leather, or an iron stone. So it's missing four pieces of leather. That's pretty easy, because we've got leather. Have I got four cut pieces in here? No, I haven't. We'll just take two ordinary pieces and cut them up. Yes, I've got this. I've got the engineer scissors. I don't want the engineer scissors. I want the other ones. In fact, I don't know. Hold a second. I'll put this ender daisy away. So I don't have it in my inventory. We just basically put that on some um, end stone. It'll grow reasonably quickly. Otherwise, it doesn't. Um. Where has it gone to? Where are they? I mean, pair of yeah, there we go. The shears here, like that. I can do that like this, can't I? So we should be able to make the climbing gloves. Now let's do that. So, one piece, one climbing glove, and I can put that into a bulbous slot. So I'll do that. And basically that basic I think that means we can climb anywhere to any bubble slot. So we just click it in. I've never used this. That was the first time I looked at it. Except to look at the recipe to see whether I could do it or not. Where can we go climbing? Well I suppose we can go climbing up here. How do we do it? Let's go up. Oh yes. <laughs> oh. That's quite uh that's quite impressive. Hello, Ember, let's just saw you out. If I press shift it'll stop, by the way. Maybe we won't. Oh. I still haven't fixed the embers. I'm still getting the old one in the base. It's all right when you... <laughs> okay, it might be a problem, but there we are. I could probably take it out of my bulb slot when I'm not using it. In fact, let's put this thing back. All right, let me do that else here. And something I've got. Yeah, let's put that away. Don't need it. Don't really need damage bars that much, so that's one of the useful things. In fact, let's take that out of my. Cause that's going to be, sort of be not needed at the moment. Well, let's put that back into the bag here. So let's press, um, let's select this one and put that into here as another item for the trip. Another one is going to be this. Arrows of Doom kills them up in sixty seconds. I think that's probably if I come across a blight. Um, Blazing Juggernaut with 300 of health. I think I'm going to shoot him with that and keep try to keep him away with the unbreakable Manilian uh, Shuriken. It's hard, isn't it? Okay, so that's that one. Bob the Big Bat has also told me I've been mispronouncing Stoked Crucible. I should say, not Stroked, it's a Stoked Crucible. So I'm not going to call it a Stroked Crucible anymore, promise. <laughs> so we're done with the... Uh, that with that, without. and also Bob and Malekwa said I should make some thermoelectric generators. They're fairly straightforward. In fact, we've made all the bits before, so let's just have a look at this. What am I sure? Oh yes, there's already something I wanted to look at in here. Smeltery. I had to make, I had to make another smeltery drink because the, the smart output wasn't working again properly. This one here. I don't need a book and a pickaxe and two pieces of obsidian. Let's take the two pieces of obsidian in here because I've already prepared a, pick, a book and a big axe on this one. Let's write that again. And this what this does, it allows you to change your speciality. I believe. Let's just write. Okay. Too low. I must be level 30. So I've only got 10 XP at the moment. So I'm not sure when I'm going to use that yet. At the moment, my speciality is set for... Um, that's not really needed in there. In there for that matter. My speciality is set for combat. Unfortunately, you do lose all your levels when you die, so it takes a long time to put everything back in, even with all this amount of XP in here. So, look, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's over a million, X, a million thousand buckets of XP in there, so there's plenty of XP, and it goes up all the time. And let's go and have a look at that. Let's go and have a look at that um, end of chest, see how full it is. See, it's blocked. So basically it's full. 
and there's not much you can do except for remove bits and pieces so what I do is I go and turn it off I sort it out that's another trick you can sort it a bit I help this the amount of I don't know but it's blocked so and the reason it's blocked is there's something that's too much of so we've already filled up one of the um, storage drawers to capacity so take a take a uh, crescent hammer right click this it sees it as blaze powders so we've already filled up this here with blaze powders uh, blaze rods I mean take an empty hand let's shift click this in here like this what have I got in there I've already got an emerald upgrade well I'm not sure I need any more than 16,000 blaze rods Look, so what I'm going to do is put a void upgrade on that now let's make a void upgrade have I got any upgrades in here I did make one or two not in there how about this one? Oh, yeah. no Okay, have I got any chests in there? Nope, I'm not doing very well. Let me just... Let's go and get some... I know I need to make some chests, because I need to make another storage drawer in order to make the upgrade bit. Wow. Duck. So I've got plenty of these in here. Let's take another 32 of those and put those into... Well, that's a bit weird. Let's, let's click on this and let's put those 30, oh, 32 in there. Like and they'll just get sawed up over time. It's funny. The power's giving you electric shock, but the wind wheel doesn't hurt. So I'll make old eight, eight chests. Let's do that first of all. And then we can make a storage drawer because what we want to do is to get rid of that. That was actually looking at our backpack, so everything on there has been done. So let's have a look at storage drawers. And we need the upgrade kit. So we need the cheapest one to make is probably this one. Ah, oh, okay, I need some more slabs. Look at that. that one that one and it doesn't matter what you use this basically gives you four of those only want four don't we and then we can make some upgrade kits like this string ah sticks I haven't got any sticks brilliant huh. something else and got an image take sticks take the apples out of there I'll shove the apples into here like that while I'm here they'll basically make what's well, not there chests no picture for chests on my crafting to how weird so let's make some of these make eight so we can now make our obsidian void storage upgrade that doubles it the void one's this one isn't it void upgrade basically there's eight blocks of obsidian around that so that's that one so then that's going to prevent this blocking because of that and I reckon I'm gonna to have to do this a lot um, so all we have to do is to get that into our hand Move the wood out of the way. Gosh, I'm full at the moment, aren't I? Um, has it gone to? Oh, it's in the middle five. Right, click it on there like that. So it's now got this little icon here that says it's avoided chest. So we'll never get more than 16,000 of any one of those items, which is fine. Well, a lot, I've done a lot today. So let's have a look at the another one of these tips and tricks. Oh yes, that was I. Should, I already looked at this one actually, and this was here. The ice on this is chiselled ice, so it doesn't melt. That was a tip from both Bob the Big, Big Bat and uh, Malacqua both gave me the same tip for that one, which is a great tip really. It's good to know that because otherwise you just get, get fed up because it'd be melting all the time. Let's put these away. <laughs> Gosh, I really should start to throw these away, but. Uh, I can like that. They stack at least. Get rid of this as well, but I'll do that. In, I'll do that between episodes, I think. Uh, I don't suppose I've got any space in here. Yes, I have. I can't get rid of those. That must be full. Let's just sort that out again. 
I got some orange wool earlier to make another one of those. Right, <clears throat> yes. What I was talking about was the, um, before I got distracted, which is fairly normal, was a thermionic fabricate, uh, thermoelectric generator. If I can see it, have I spelled that right? No, I haven't. Thermoelectric generator is this one. So basically, this is steel ingots. We made that already. Constantan plate. No big deal. That's just constantan, which we can stick through the um, smeltery to make plates. And a copper coil block, which we've already made before for, for a generator. These LV wires are simply copper wires, which is basically cut plates. So you need eight cut plates of copper to make... We need four, don't we? Yeah, that's right. It's not too difficult. It doesn't take too long, but there's a better way of making those. And I think I'm going to have to do that next time. There is a few more bits and pieces that I've done. The pickaxe I've got in my hand here is a pickaxe that was basically suggested by Bob the Big Bat. And I should use the um, I should not use the prosperity ore ingots on this one as a head. So I've used the emerald. I put silk touch on it, and I put the. Let's have a look at that one actually. What do I have to do to do that one? I have to look at the stats of that, don't I? So it's still clumsy. So it's basically got an emerald pickaxe with an inferior binding and silk touch. So that the rod itself is wood. So that basically repairs itself fairly quickly. Not very quickly. The durability is quite high because it's an emerald pickaxe. And the mining level and speed are fairly good as well. So that's fairly good. And then I've got an inferior binding, which gives me prosperous. So every once in a while I'm going to get a prosperous shard. And the once in a while is definitely once in a while. <laughs> I think I've got one. And I'm out, I mined about, I don't know, a couple hundred blocks or something like that. So it's fairly rare. Um, Bob the Big Bat tells me using a hammer is good because you don't use up food when you're all excavating stuff. In fact, there is one thing I want to go and have a look at as well before, we, before I actually do go. I haven't gone over my time by miles and miles. This was a tip from Melacqui. It says you can't, you don't need to change the mode of the ore excavator when you, when you're doing ores. So let's go and find some ores. Where can we go? I think that's probably over here. If they're touching each other, you don't need to do it. Now, up here I've got some more. I think that's iron ore, isn't it? Yes. So at the moment, V, the mode is was none. That's actually, I'd like that to be changed actually because it's a bit of a parent. If I shift, if I push the ore excavation key and that. Oop. God, that gave me a shot. <laughs> Get out of his way. They're getting quite tough, these things as well. Cool. Where's that gone to? Did I pick it all up? Yeah, you see, it hasn't all, um, it hasn't done all of it. To do all of it, let's get this out of the way. I need, there's some more down here. I need the mode, none. Where's it gone to? Oh, stuck. Like that. You see, this block wasn't picked up. So I'll do that again. This time it picks it all up. And here too. If I hold it down with none, it'll pick it all up. If it was a 2 by one it would only do the 2 by one section. Oh, look, i got some extra bits. These are the ones you get when you get double ores. So whatever I picked up in the dank null. Oh, okay, let's get rid of you as well. It'll have get picked up that and given me these two extra, so I get one extra on that one. So the next thing I do with this, of course, is just to stick it into the into here, and then you have another chance of getting doubles, uh, an extra, an extra, or, and then in here, let's put the dank null in a bit. 
something like that. Let's see what comes out of here. It's actually putting in. Oh, it's, it's too late, really. So, see all these things I've got plenty of. As far as I said, I've got 28 nether iron ore here that I've mined. Benerium ore. I've got some nether prosperity ore here. And what I've been doing with that. So I've been putting that down there and taking this pickaxe here, which has got, if I look at this one, it's got luck three on it. So that's maximum. And I've simply hit this with a pickaxe. What am I going to pick up? Six. So we'll look at that again. So we'll look at the usage of that one. Oh, it doesn't tell me if I do this one, doesn't work. Don't do that. It gives you this crushed nether prosperity or there's no uses for it. If you look for the uses of that one, you can do this, pure metal gore. I should have found it in there straight away. But the trouble is, there's no risk, there's no uses of that one. So if we actually look to the pure ore, isn't it? Prosperity ore. No. Prosperity. I'm typing really badly today. You can make these tools and things like that. But there's no liquid prosperity ore. So you've got that one, but I don't see any liquid prosperity ore there. So there's no uses for it. You can make this out, you can make these tools out of it, but it didn't work when I tried it. It should be able to do the tools, shouldn't I? I should be able to smelt it into tools and do it. Hmm. Didn't work for me. Anyway. Prosperity shard pickaxe. I, I couldn't do it. It didn't work. Maybe I've got that wrong. So with a normal pickaxe from here, I'm going to get about three to four nether prosperity shards in here. So using the luck pickaxe is really good. In fact, using the luck, luck, how did we get this time? 21, look at that, wow, wow, that was just one ore. So luck three does play an important part in that one. This luck three pickaxe is actually really cool. So what have I got for armor on here? I've got my jetpack with me, it was in the charger. Probably in the charger. Let's go and pick it up. Let's go and put this on. Five, right click it. The reason I want to do that is that over here we have got some. I think we've got it anyway. Let's put the jetpack on. Ah, yes, here we are. Some bloodwood trees. This is a tip from my liquor. Let's turn it off again. If I if I harvest these with this luck pickaxe, can you see what I'm picking up? <laughs> Redstone and sticks. That one. You use an ordinary pickaxe with silk touch, you get uh, leaves like that, and you sometimes get sticks as well. So on that note, I'm going to wish you all the best. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.